Hey there folks, I'm gonna be bringing you into my kitchen today and we are going to be going through how we came up with the design for this shelf and then also show you how we literally built it. I probably get more questions about this shelf than anything else in my kitchen. So I thought it was high time, I just put it out there, all the details. I'm also having a blog post linked below where you can go to get building materials and all that stuff. So be sure to go check that out. But I'm just gonna tell you how I came up with the idea of designing this shelf and why I chose the specific layout that I have here. When my man and I designed and built a mountain cottage, I had never actually had the liberty or the luxury of deciding what I wanted in my kitchen. So one of the things I was very, very set on was I wanted a lot of windows and a lot of light. And then while I did want lower cabinets that your counters rest on, I wanted open upper shelving. And I didn't know for sure if I would love it. So what you see here is actually pretty rustic in a lot of respects, but I wanted to try it. So this is a very, very affordable shelf to build. It's literally, this one is just pine boards whitewashed. When I was designing this shelf, I of course had a little bit of an idea in mind um, I went online, I kind of looked around. I knew I really liked the idea of the plate rack rather than having plates stacked like these ones here. I really like the idea of the upright look. I kind of like the rustic country charm it brings to a kitchen. And so I went online and started browsing, but something I noticed right away was that all the plate racks I saw had slots for each individual plate. Often they were made with round wooden dowels. I actually didn't like that. I'm more of a chunky, <laughs> I like chunkier stuff in my kitchen and I like to efficiently use space and material. So we came up with this design instead where we've got sturdier um, dowels. We've got a very large slots where we can stack three, four, even five plates per slot. So that was the first thing we did. And I'm just gonna flip the camera around and actually show you what we ended up using and doing for this, show you some of the design here. For our dowels, you can see here, we just ripped a, I believe it was a two by four down into chunks, and then we just inserted these into the shelf. So you have to have one in the front, one in the back, obviously, to hold up your plates properly and keep them separated from one another. And that's what we ended up going with. To fasten them in place, we actually just inserted screws from underneath. Let me get focus here. So you'll notice we've got screws all along here. This is very unfinished, very rustic, but that's how we held them in place from the bottom and from the top as well. And another feature you absolutely need with this design is on the top, you don't need a brace board, obviously, but on the bottom, you have to have some sort of lip to keep your plates from rolling out. They can't come out, whereas if that was a perfectly flat surface, these plates would just roll off. We have about an inch tall lip, and so your plates cannot roll out here, and then it's also a front-facing surface that we also whitewashed to match the design of the shelf. The plate rack is actually a very, very simple design. It's not complicated to do. Of course, if you want to permanently put one in your kitchen, you probably want to finish over the screw holes, but this is very, very sturdy. I have no worries about this sagging because of the supports we've got with the, the wood here. It's very, very strong. It's, I don't have any worries about that. Whereas down here with this shelf, there is no support, so I try to make a point of keeping a little bit lighter stuff on it because of how wide this shelf actually is. Let me walk you through, though, um, how we designed our brackets for the shelves and then also show you the ends as well, just to give you an idea of how this is actually built. So if you look on the end, you can see we just have screws that we put into the bottom of this board very simple and then for the shelves inside the frame we actually just put wooden brackets up again this is very very rustic very rustic system but it actually works well it's very strong 
and it's kind of got an old school feeling to it, which I love. One other thing I did instead of creating a solid sidewall is I wanted a little gap in it and I just love the look of that. As far as the crack goes in here, your bracket is actually what is holding the width together. So they're also their dual purpose in that sense. And of course, if you wanted to make this exact design, you could do it without the crack in the uh, down the centers, but I just love it. I think it adds a really nice little rustic charm to the finished product. And so I'm a huge fan. And now this shelf actually needs a wipe down badly. So I'm going to get up here on the kitchen counter and I'm actually going to take everything off and we're going to wipe everything down and put it back. questions leave them below I will get back to you on them and I hope this inspires you to try something different in your kitchen obviously your wall space is different so there's going to be different widths and different things you have to account for if you're going to do this exact project in your own space so I think this is something pretty much anybody could put in and enjoy in their kitchen space all right folks thanks for joining me and we'll see you next time